So the next thing we need to talk about is bases for our pieces of terrain. Now, with the rock formations, it's pretty easy. They come with their own small hex tiles with holes that actually lock into HeroScape terrain. And if you haven't seen HeroScape terrain, it's really great. It fits together like this. And it comes in different sizes. It snaps together, but comes apart very easily. It's also very stackable. And we'll talk more about why that's good. I always do a little more to mine. I paint it up and I flock it to make it look a little more like, say, a Warhammer battlefield. But anyway, with the rock formations, we have some pre-made bases. But for this piece, you certainly could just sit it on the battlefield, but I like to actually create a base that's going to fit neatly into the HeroScape battlefield. And unlike a game like Warhammer, where you can just plop a piece down and figures can move around it, HeroScape figures are restricted to the hexagonal spaces that are allotted for them, so you need to make sure that any figure, line of terrain feature, line of sight blocker, has its own distinctive space that it occupies so players know where to put their miniatures and where they're going to have to avoid. And so I did a little checking and discovered that if I put two pieces together that's going to be just about the right fit for this piece. You can see that it's not going to hang over any of the edges and what I'll do once we're done just to make sure there's no question about where a smaller figure can step is we'll fill in some of these open spaces with probably some sand piles. So the first thing I need to do though is prep my terrain in the same way that we did our rock features. We're going to start with some brown and then we'll add the highlighting. I'm not going to put as much work into it because it's not going to show up as much. The edges might be stacked up where you can see them so we will highlight them a little bit but they also might be snapped down in the middle of a lot of terrain and not be visible at all and a lot of this is going to be covered with some flocking or some sand. And to save time, I have already put together with a little bit of super glue gel. I prefer gel, not the actual super glue. It doesn't get away from you. Two pieces. I've painted them brown, given them their dark undercoat. And we will give it a little highlight. And with the HeroScape terrain, one of the reasons I like to do my own painting is the features in these tiles they show in certain types of terrain. HeroScape has a lot of variety. There is stone, grass, swamp, I know I'm going to forget something here. There's a volcanic, dungeon, and castle floor. I believe those are the ones and then that the characters can walk on and then there are small flat pieces that you lock in to represent water, lava, and swamp water. And in some of them you can see the, um, the features of the tiles but in most of them they don't show up like they're beginning to show up here as I put in this lighter colored paint. And also they're done glossy so they they're okay. They're certainly better than the paper mats you lay down for a lot of battle games you get. But to go back over them with some flat paints really gives it more of a natural feel. And it doesn't, as you can see, take a whole lot to do this. And I like to put a little bit of paint around the edges, highlighting, because as I mentioned, you might snap this piece down in amongst the terrain and these edges won't show. But HeroScape terrain is also stackable. And if you want to have this up in the air a little, maybe on a hill, this really looks good just to add a little bit of dry brushing because it gives the illusion of sedimentary layers. And I've found that it really doesn't affect much with your snapping together and taking apart as long as you use like a flat acrylic paint. I've, I've tried spray paint to create my own lava tile. That can get a little sticky. It still works, but this paint shouldn't be a big issue. Alright, now it's time to put my piece of terrain on a base. 
Ordinarily, I would use hot glue for this. I find it easy to use, and most importantly, it's forgiving of my mistakes. It's easy to undo your screw-ups with hot glue. But because I have children, that means that sometimes things are not where they're supposed to be. So my backup plan is super glue gel. And I think I mentioned before, I strongly prefer the super glue gel. Super glue liquid runs everywhere. There might be some benefits to it that I'm not aware of, but for me, I like the gel. You can get a dollar store brand that works very well. So I've lined the edges with the gel, and I really want to line this up so that it's not hanging off any edges because, as I mentioned, once you put a piece of terrain on HeroScape hexes, most of the time those hexes are going to become dead zones for play. So I don't want this to hang off the edge and screw up any more terrain sections. So I'm going to give this a little bit to dry. And while I'm at it, I have painted up some single hexes in the same way. And we're going to make some palm trees. Now you can get palm trees in a lot of places. The HeroScape jungle set that has palms in it is very difficult to come by. They're very expensive on eBay, but it's also the easiest to replicate with just a few palm trees and some aquarium terrain. And uh, this particular palm tree that I'm using came from a dollar store pirate set. I felt kind of dorky buying these uh, little dollar toys that had this big goofy pirate and a little tree house, but the palm trees were just too awesome to pass up. But I found usable palm trees online with cake decorations. I've found them in dinosaur play sets and jungle play sets and I know other people online have found them in different places. So I'm going to glue the palm tree onto there. And the next thing we're going to do, you'll see how this looks kind of plain and weird. So we're going to work on filling in these all right, so we've got our palm tree glued onto the base, but as you can see, that doesn't look so good. We've got this brown plastic surface here. That is an easy fix. All we're going to need is some white glue. And I'm going to use two things for this one. There's all kinds of options, but I'm going to use these small decorative stones. I like them because they're about the right size and um, mixture of colors. Found those at the dollar store. When you're a gamer and you make terrain, you really wind up buying some girly stuff. So you need to be very secure and we're going to use this is called ballast and um, it's not as fine as sand. I found uh, that sand just doesn't look good when you glue it on the HeroScape tiles. So we just Pour a nice layer of white glue. Make sure it gets over what we want to cover. Don't want to take it so close to the edge that it gets down into the cracks and messes up the interlocking bits of the tile. And once you've put down your white glue, it's as simple as sprinkling some things on. Now always go from largest to smallest. If I were to start with the fine little bits, then they would completely cover the glue surface and the larger things wouldn't stick. So I'm going to drop on a few rocks. I'm going to sprinkle in the ballast. And then just for fun, since this is an oasis, so it's okay to have a little bit of life, not so much unrelenting brown. I'm going to put a couple drops of glue on. And I'm going to drop on just a little bit of fine turf. You can, Woodland Scenics is the product that I see the most. You can get it in different qualities from different places, but uh, I think it's the best. So for the turf, I really like to do it. You can go cheap on other stuff, but for the green stuff, I like it because it's not too thick and clumpy. It looks pretty good. 
So now I'm going to take that off. And always make sure to catch your leftover bits. And in addition to my different types of terrain, I keep a little catch-all container. And yeah, this is from Birdseed, but it works well. And every once in a while when I'm doing a piece of terrain, I'll use my catch-all stuff because it's a nice mix of dirt and sand and gravel and different thicknesses of grass. So that way nothing goes to waste. So now we've got our palm tree. And I actually did the same thing with a couple of hexes using aquarium plants. You can get these really cheap in Walmart, Kmart, pet stores, and um, did the same kind of thing. And I did it with our pyramid. So getting some nice pieces put together.